you welcome back to my channel uh, if you're new here welcome my name is Delilah Marai and I focus on mom fashion and lifestyle topics so today we're going into the next phase of my primary room update and if you didn't watch the first one you can go back through and watch it after this so you'll get all caught up um, but the goal is just to paint an accent wall all black right so this will be the wall behind my headboard and I didn't want it to be glossy or anything like that, um, especially because I have textured walls. So I wanted a very muted look. So we went with like an eggshell black um, paint by Sherwin-Williams. And you know, I wanted my room to be super comfortable and vibey, if that makes sense. Almost like a moody space, but still, you know, very inviting at the same time. And you know, as always, I'll have everything linked for you guys, um, either on the screen or in the description box below. And I did create a design board. Um, you guys know that I love design boards, but I did create a design board of what I wanted this space to be. And that is kind of what I'm working off of. So I'll show you what that looks like as well. Okay, don't let this tape job fool you. We did a horrible, horrible job um, prepping the space for paint. Honestly, it was probably the, the worst job that we've ever done. Uh, because when we pulled the tape, and you'll you'll be able to see me going back later, but when we pulled the, the tape to reveal the paint, it was just the worst. I mean, I had to go back through and uh, redo the entire trim um, So you'll see what I mean later, but if you are planning on painting your space like this is job number one It needs to be super detailed
Okay, you guys, I am so excited that we are finally getting rid of these builder grade uh, ceiling fans. <laughs> one by one, we are taking them out of every room and putting in either a chandelier or a, a more modern looking ceiling fan that actually goes with the house. Um, and so the one that we did buy is from Lowe's. It's just all black, it's super sleek looking, and it also has a remote control that you can mount to the wall. I love it, and it was under $300. I think it was like $230, I can't remember, but I will link that for y'all as well. Okay, do y'all see this? I mean, the ceiling fan is still not done, right? He's still working on it, but man, that difference from the builder grade version to this one is so different. I mean, it's just so different. It's like a facelift for your room. So this is something that I was just, just could not wait to get done for sure. So this is the moment that I shed an internal tear because he pulled that tape back and the trim, I just saw it was terrible. Terrible job. Okay, I was excited for you guys to see this because we replaced 
the standard wall outlets that used to be white, um, right? They used to be white on this wall and we replaced them with the ones that also have USB ports, but they're also all black and they're super sleek looking and match the wall and they match the aesthetic of the room now. And Dante did this by, you know, just watching a YouTube video. He had it playing on his phone um, and I thought it was so cool. So it, it definitely sounds harder than what it, it is. And um, he got it done in like less than 10 minutes. So I thought that was really, really cool. Learn from my mistakes, okay? Because this could have been avoided had we prepped better and taped the trim better than we did, but no, we just wanted to go all in and it was a mess. And so now we have to clean every inch of the wall up little by little because we did not prep. So let, don't let this be you. You can learn by my mistakes or from my mistakes and do better, but we cleaned it up and it worked just fine. It was just frustrating that we had to do the whole thing. So I did get new bedding for the room, for the space. However, um, I didn't realize that I needed a duvet filler. Um, and so when I went to put all the bedding in or down on the bed, I realized that I was still missing a piece. So I had to go back through and order it and wait for it to arrive. Um, 
from Target, but the bedding now is super bomb and yeah, you'll see it at the end of the video, but it's great. I will link it um, as well. So at this point, it's been about four days later and our credenza has finally arrived. Um, our TV is on this wall and we just have not had, actually we've never had anything under it. Um, we've just been waiting for the perfect piece. I finally found it um, at Target, of course. I love Target. They really have the best stuff online um, that you cannot find in stores. Um, but yeah, I measured it. It was 68 inches in length and it was the perfect, um, the perfect width as well as the perfect fit for the room because it goes really well with my um, nightstands. So he is putting it together and I'm just like, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited because I'm telling you, we've been with without anything here for over a year. Um, and so we finally got something and it was well worth the wait. Um, but yeah, you guys can see, you know, the final look in just a few minutes. Um, but I will say that there is a, a missing piece. I still feel like we, we have something that is missing and I think it's hardwood floors. Um, let me know what you guys think, but this carpet y'all is just not doing it for me and I am over it. So I think the next step for the next phase here is to, you know, finish the restroom because there's a lot of little updates that we want to do there, but, uh, definitely, definitely the hardwood floors. Okay, y'all, I am so excited to show you the final look. If you love this video, make sure that you guys um, like it, share it, and definitely subscribe. I would love to have you guys a part of my family here on YouTube. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week for a new video. Bye, guys.